Hey Alpha fam, welcome back to another episode of Alpha Commission. Today I just wanted to go over the most terrifying chart in crypto, at least what I think is the most terrifying chart, because if it works out the way that I think it might, then we could be in for quite a ride. And no, I'm not talking about the Bitcoin chart. Uh, if you're not familiar with the uh, line graphs, which I think most people are because we use it in childhood so often. But, uh, you know, in this industry, we often use candlesticks. Uh, but in TradingView, you can swap between candlesticks and the line graph. The line graph makes it easier to see your trends compared to the candles, which are, you know, up and down, very choppy. So this isn't the chart, actually, that uh, scares me. It's uh, obviously the Bitcoin chart starting back here in 2018. We have, you know, $3,000, $4,000. Then we have $12,000. We get to $5,000. Work our way up to $20,000. Have some pullbacks. And then we get to uh, $65,000. The rest is history. We crash down to $30,000. $69,000, and now we're back at $35,000 to $40,000, okay? So Bitcoin itself is quite a roller coaster. I mean, this journey, if you can uh, keep your stomach together, is quite a roller coaster of ups and downs, and that means that there can be ups and downs in the future. Not just ups, but also major downs, right? And the question is, how can we predict when those downs might be happening? Well, a lot of people do TA on Bitcoin, but the chart that I wanted to show you was actually this one right here, the USDT uh, dominance chart. And uh, I learned to uh, start looking at the USDT dominance chart from someone called uh, Trimmer Trading about a year ago. Uh, he's a British citizen, and I think a lot of people like noticed what he was doing, and they uh, maybe started to copy uh, some of his discussion about USDT dominance. But uh, just the credit where credit is due, um, I did get interested in uh, USDT dominance about a year ago, uh, following uh, some of his uh, discussions. And so, uh, what what do we see here? Well, we do see that over time. Uh, the percentage of the market cap in terms of USDT dominance has been increasing uh, in terms of how much uh, USDT uh, tether, the stable coin that people hold. And if we cross that with Bitcoin, you can see that when Bitcoin prices go down, people are getting back into stable coins. When uh, Bitcoin prices go up, they get out of uh, stable coins, right? And that makes sense because they're spending their money, right? They're spending their stable coins on Bitcoin and on other uh, crypto. So some may ask, well, how come you're not comparing, you know, all of the stable coins, uh, not just uh, Tether? And how come you're not comparing, you know, all of the uh, crypto? You can do that, uh, but this works just as well. Uh, Bitcoin is kind of the uh, canary in the coal mine, and uh, Tether is obviously the most popular uh, stable coin, um, at least currently, uh, with some others uh, gaining popularity. So this works perfectly fine because you can see the in, uh, the uh, inverse uh, the inversely proportional uh, correlation here. And uh, what you would notice right now is that we are diverging, and we're diverging strongly, right? So we have a little bit of this type of formation going on right now, which might indicate that we might come back up to these levels. And I want to uh, show you that. Just uh, let me turn off Bitcoin by looking a little bit at the uh, moving averages on the Tether itself. Why does this scare me so much? Because the uh, Tether is actually increasing. It's, it's on a bullish crossing right now. It's above this uh, midline. And you know, it's, it's, it's increasing. So we have a ways to go potentially, potentially in USDT, uh, uh, in Tether, if we don't suddenly get stopped at this uh, resistance. So let me put in those horizontal resistances to show you what I'm talking about. You know, we found resistance here, we found resistance here, we found resistance again, a third time. And the question is, are we gonna stop there now or are we gonna break through? As you can see, the history of this tether chart is one that continues to break through to new levels. And I want to show you the patterns that actually bring us there and why this is so terrifying, right? Why this has the potential to scare the market. And I'm not trying to scare you, I'm just trying to 
put ideas out there of what's possible, right? So here we have some formations and you have this type of a measured move that comes off of it. It doesn't matter if you uh, consider it like uh, just a, uh, a box, right? This is still the measured move it for it. Some of them look a little bit like uh, inverted head and shoulders. Other of them look like maybe little cups and handles or it doesn't matter. The fact is the measured move is playing out. And so the depth of this one played out, it brought us to a new level, right? We had, uh, uh, after we got to this level, we found support on it, we broke down, and then we made a new formation, which was this inverted head and shoulders, right? The measured move on that one brought us up here to a new level. I think uh, this is when, you know, this is the era when they started to, uh, when COVID started to come along. So I'm not sure if it worked out exactly like the rest of the patterns did. But anyway, we did have this sort of uh, diagonal uh, inverted head and shoulders, which did take us to a new level yet again. And again, we broke down, like we always break down before we reach that level. We broke down and then we reached that new level. And again, we formed a little bit less dramatic this time at, this, uh, at the level that we reached. And we've made a new formation, right? And that brought us to our current level, right? And this is after all of the uh, money got injected into the economy from the governments. And so maybe this level is a little bit harder to break than some of these older levels. And as you can see, we've been uh, having uh, to use it as resistance for quite a long time. But the question is, how long is this going to hold for? And are we creating a new formation that could take us to the next level, right? And the next level would be very bad for crypto. Why would it be very bad for crypto? Because it's so high up there. We're almost doubling the amount of a tether. It's so high up there that it would represent Bitcoin coming way down, right? So if, this, if these little moves were enough to suppress Bitcoin and cause these uh, bear markets, then what happens... What happens when our tether line, the blue, the blue line, right, the teal line, what happens when it reaches this new level, basically making an all-time high? Well, it means that Bitcoin can come crashing down, maybe more than you would think. And that's what could be terrifying to the market, right? So how much could this come down? You know, people are probably going to be wondering. Well, in order to take a look at that, I've drawn up some uh, trend lines, right? Let's go ahead and take these uh, patterns off. We don't need that anymore. We know that this line is the one that we're looking potentially to break into if we don't get rejected again here. And so let's say that we do uh, just uh, break this uh, trend, you know, one, two, actually one, two, three, four, five times we've tried to break through. And if we uh, head towards it this time, it's going to be the sixth time. Are we going to be able to break through it on that sixth time? Well, maybe, if the news in the market is pretty bad, maybe, right? So let's uh, take a look at uh, how Bitcoin behaves here. Well, let me go ahead and just remove this uh, USDT and its moving averages. And if we just take a look at the Bitcoin uh, line graph again, what we can see is that we found support on these uh, you know, diagonal lines over here, as well as these blue lines, just kind of mid lines. You can see it perfectly touched the top here. You know, we kind of got into that pullback area. We found support here. We found support here. And again, maybe we're finding support here. And the question is, is it going to be temporary? And then we break down. Or are we going to be able to explode? Well, what happens if we do break down? That's the question, right? That price would represent here, probably on the green line, either this, this one up here just like we kind of used it as support here, here, here. And that price would be equivalent to, let's just make a projection. And let's change this color just so that we can visualize it better. That would be equivalent to around 30 to $32,000, right? We don't know how fast it would fall. But assuming that this trend line is down, right? And that we haven't broken above it. You know, we broke above this trend line, had a breakout, but let's say that the market continues to be bad. We move our trend line over and then we still are falling, right? 
And so we would be under this trend line approximately to here. And again, that's around, you know, $31,000, $32,000. Let's say that it's very bearish because we're making all time highs in Tether, right? Then the new price that we'd be talking about would be somewhere around here, assuming that we can find support, right? And we did on this trend line. And that would be approximately $25,000. And if we're talking about uh, $30,000 and $25,000, those are numbers that come up uh, with confluence in a variety of other possible measurements. So the fact that I'm uh, finding this with the uh, Tether uh, data is also just another bit of confluence that we're either looking for $30,000 or $25,000. And I want to make the case that maybe the $25,000, if we do, if the uh, Tether does break through, I want to make the case that uh, possibly we should be preparing for that $25,000 situation. And if everything just uh, stays neutral, then maybe mid 30,000 is, you know, is kind of a happy bounce point, right? It's almost like a double bottom on the macro scale. And then if we uh, have really bad news, maybe that 25,000 is going to be pretty good support. But uh, let me go ahead and remove these and put on the um, tether chart again. So this is the amount of tether, right? So if we have that measured move where we are going to break up here, then probably Bitcoin is going to break down in this direction. And that's going to be very scary for the market. But what's going to happen if we don't? If we don't break through on this on this attempt? Well, we have this small area here, right? We have the small area that we still can fill until we reach you know, this resistance line. And that would give us enough uh, bounce, right? Because uh, we saw when we moved from here to here, we got a little bounce. So we may get a little, uh, sorry, when we moved uh, from here, when we bounced off of it and then broke down, we got this bounce, right? That was from 37000 to about $44,000. So let's say that uh, this move is uh, very similar. Right, if we get a, another bounce, but maybe just at a higher level. So that was approximately 10,000, right? A little bit less. So maybe we could be seeing into that uh, $46,000 area, or maybe we're going to double top here and maybe that $42,000 area if we continue on our way and don't just break down. But if we break up, then we could see something quite traumatic. Uh, we did, we've seen huge moves on Bitcoin, right? That could be $20,000, uh, you know, maybe 15 to $20,000 in a move like this. And if uh, Tether does go up, then potentially we could be seeing that, you know, $15,000 drop or however much it might end up being. And so these levels are very realistic, okay? Uh, I don't want to take too much time on this video. I just wanted to present this uh, overall idea. You know, we are approaching resistance for the Tether market cap. And so there is a good chance that we could break down and that Bitcoin could get a bounce. However, as I mentioned, we're still in a bullish crossing for the Tether. And so it may make another attempt. It may make another attempt at trying to you know, reach these highs. And even if we bounce down a little bit, we could we could end up pushing through this time. And there's a reason I can think that because look at this, you know, we have this type of, you know, we reach we reach our resistance, we break down, we test this uh, midline here, right? And then we break down to the blue line, right? We test the pink midline and then we break down to the blue midline. We make another attempt, get rejected, make another attempt, and then we succeed at breaking up. So same thing is happening here. We tested the, the top resistance. We broke down to the midline. And then we broke down to the blue mid, the pink midline. And then we broke down to the blue midline. We retested the pink midline. We broke down again to the blue midline, right? Just like we did here. And then after that, we we were able to break through this resistance, you know, over here and reach another uh, all-time high, right? And so what are we doing? We're, re uh, we're meeting this resistance. We're meeting this resistance right here. And if we follow the same type of pattern that 
uh, Tether has made in the past, then we could break through and see a very dramatic fall on Bitcoin. Very dramatic fall, uh, fall on Bitcoin. They could bring us back to the low 30s, to, uh, to the mid uh, 20,000s. If not lower, right? Because these patterns weren't all made in bad economic times. But it looks like we may have a little bit of difficulty in the market. And Bitcoin does appear to be a little bit more centralized these days. It does seem to be corresponding to stocks a lot more than it used to be. And so we'll just have to see how does it recover and how does uh, crypto play out because crypto does follow Bitcoin quite closely. And, you know, ultimately we want to see uh, this tether chart breaking down, but it's looking, it's looking pretty bullish. It has higher lows and potentially it could be making higher highs still yet again. Okay. So uh, there's your alpha for, uh, t for the day. Uh, stay safe, guys. Uh, you know, we may get a bounce, right, if we get rejected at this, uh, res at this resistance, right? If we, if we get rejected at this resistance, as we have a little bit of pullbacks on the Bitcoin chart, we may get a little bit of bounce. But just to be aware, right, just to be aware that if we do break through, we could see quite a fall. We could see quite a fall. Okay, so that was your alpha for the day. Uh, stay safe and uh, happy trading.